Folks, it's time for our co-main event, Chris Mosseri and Kevin Ross. This one's going to be a ripper. Chris, he seems to always uh, like to push the pace, you know, which is what I love to do. Ross, good. Even if I was just to perform well, I think it, it puts me on the map uh, against a guy like Kevin Ross, but I don't plan on just performing well, I plan on winning. I know he's going to bring in what he has, and I know he's going to elevate his game that much more. Just by fighting with someone of my level compared to him, it's going to just raise him up, just like it has been for me every time I've gone there against people above my level. Uh, victory here would be amazing, you know, to win over a guy like Kevin Ross, one of my favorite fighters, and one of the most well-known guys in American Muay Thai, so on paper it's a huge win, and for me personally it's a huge win, you know, to beat a guy like that. I'm going in there, I'm not going to hold nothing back. I know it's a very dangerous fight, so I'm not going to take it easy or play it around. I'm going in there to, you know, put my foot in his ass, and then uh, see how he likes it. Okay, this is going to be awesome. The Solo Assassin versus Christmas, Sarah. Let's go up to Jay Gutierrez. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to bring out our next two fighters for our next bout. So please welcome, making his way to the ring, Chris Masseri. Chris Masseri, a champion gymnast in high school, was on the junior national team and was offered college scholarships but chose martial arts instead. An orthodox fighter who will switch to South Boy. He plans to switch up a lot here tonight. He said to us yesterday, Pat, that the game plan is to apply pressure, put Kevin Ross on the back foot. He says Kevin is open to being caught with uppercuts and overhand rights. He's got to watch out for Kevin's sneaky right head kick, the sharp hand combinations, but he's got to put him on the back foot from the get-go. Yeah, and that's, I think that's a great way to think about this fight, to approach this fight, because Kevin Ross is very dangerous when he's coming forward. So we'll see if Masseri can actually do what he says he wants to do. Masseri, confident. And he can beat the Soul Assassin. He goes through the ropes rather than over the ropes. Chris Masseri. Now ready to come up to the ring. Please welcome Kevin Ross. Man who needs no introduction in Muay Thai. Kevin Ross. One of the most slick combination fighters you'll find. Exquisite to watch when he strings it together, Kevin Ross. Full of confidence in defeating Masseri here tonight. Said he didn't watch much footage of Masseri. Said what little footage he did watch. That he was very amateurish, but didn't want to make the mistake of taking Masseri lightly. Right, he did say that the technique he didn't feel was near as good as his. Obviously, Kevin's been at this for a very long time, but he understands Masseri being a former gymnast and anybody who's ever wrestled or rolled around or, or dealt with a gymnast and what kind of athlete they are and how strong they are, Kevin knows he's gonna be dangerous because of that. Over the top ropes, bounds Kevin Ross. As we take all the tail of the tape for our co-main event. Ross has all the experience, he's 10 years the older, one inch the taller, gives up two inches in the arm reach, has two inches longer legs. Our experts fight gauge for this one. Kevin Ross, the kicks, the punches, the knees, the elbows, and the power is even. At this time, ladies and gentlemen, we bring you our co-main event of the evening, uh, five rounds in the welterweight division. Judging will be Justin Gruskowitz, Eric Colon, and Sue Sanidad. Our referee in charge will be Dan Mergliata. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He wears a solid black trunks and he weighed in at 142 pounds. He is unbeaten as a professional, six victories, no losses, two wins by knockout. 
He comes to us from Kingston, New York. Introducing Chris Masseri. And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the red corner. He wears a black with red trim, and he weighed in the same as his opponent, 142 pounds. His professional record, 37 bouts, including 27 victories, 10 defeats, nine big wins by knockout. From Dublin, California, here is Kevin Soul Assassin Ross. Okay, gentlemen in the center, when you're ready. Right? Good luck. A removal of the Moncon and the flowers around the neck here of Kevin Ross, part of the pre-fight ritual, the Muay Thai fighter. Quick blessing that's also set in the corner. Ross taking his time. He's not going to rush himself here. Makes Masseri wait for him in the center of the ring. The Praja armbands around the biceps of Ross, and here's Dan Miragliotta. All right, guys. Good luck to both of you. Have a nice, clean, safe fight. Fight safe, fight hard. Touch the gloves you want. Back to your corners. Good luck. Kevin Ross will main event the big Independence Day show on July 4 in Las Vegas against Michael Tomahawk Thompson of Australia. Yeah, ready, sir, one, Has got to get past one, Chris Masseri here tonight. <laughs> Masseri says he wants to back Ross against the ropes, put him on the back foot, lock him up in the corner and pound away. He's going to close down the combination work of the Soul Assassin. Good balance by Masseri. Let's see how this uh, clinch work goes. Straight into the clinch for these two men. Kevin Ross looking for the first dump. Put an execute. Front kick from Masseri. Uppercut elbow from Ross. Yeah, well placed. There's already a cut. A big cut on the forehead of Masseri. He's been opened well up here. That's not good. Masseri opened up by an early elbow from Kevin Ross. And the blood's streaking down. We're going to get sprayed here pretty quick, Mike. There it comes. They're going to look at this cut on Masseri. Wonder if he can go on here. It's a deep one. So he'll try and show you with the elbow that opened it up. But my word, look at that. You can fit a roll of quarters inside of that money box. Sir, like we said, it's right over his eye. I see the doctor wants to do it. That's already there. It happened on that inside, that uppercut elbow. Lost through that jab and then placed that elbow perfectly. That's Muay Thai for you, folks. When you're throwing the elbows, this is how fights can end with an elbow cut like that. I think this one may be over. Yeah, the doctor's not, not got a confident look on his face. Pat, the problem is it's come so early in the fight that you let it go on, it's still got four and a half rounds to open it up even further. Yeah, let's take a look at this. And, uh, here you go. See, he sticks the left hand out. He's backing up. Boom, right through the middle. Perfect placement. Well, they are going to go on with it here. That's why these elbows are so effective when you, the uppercut elbows, it, it splits the guard. High right roundhouse by Ross. He sees the blood. He wants to finish now. Kevin Ross, and so does Masseri. Yeah. Masseri knows time's his enemy now. Right, exactly. That cut is only going to get worse, and Kevin Ross is a nasty, nasty man. He goes straight to that cut to try and open up more. He just doesn't want a money box on the forehead of Masseri. He wants a full bank account there. Right. And Dan Miragliotta breaks it. Go, go, go. Watch Masseri get on the attack here. Here he comes. Masseri goes body and head, and Kevin Ross gets tagged. Masseri's technique has improved greatly in six pro fights. He has picked this, this sport up quickly. Look at Masseri on the front foot now. Step up elbow from Masseri. Kevin Ross just wades his forehead into that cut, opens it up a little more. Still one minute five remains. First round of five. A very bad cut on the forehead of Chris Masseri. Now I don't know if Kevin Ross is cut, but that's Masseri's blood. Masseri throwing him off. 
Roundhouse kick to the rib cage from Kevin Ross. Masseur is still trying to back up the Soul Assassin. Uppercut from Kevin Ross. Nice, sagged his weight back and loaded that uppercut and came with it nice. Another elbow. Kevin Ross has been in his fair share of blood baths. None more so than Tetsuya Yamato on Fremont Street oh. last year. Big right hand. Frank into the midsection. Overhand right from the Soul Assassin. Masseri tries to press him against the ropes. Ross relaxed in there. Nice inside control on that right arm of Masseri, blocking it off. Right, up, right, nice, nice, ah. Hands up, hands up, hands up. You like that pack? Oh. Yeah, he got dumped and decided to hit a takedown. Ross, Ross knows how to hit a takedown. Into the first round, we get the towels. Kevin Ross pumps his fist in the air. And Masseri looks like a horror movie. Oh. Wow. Somebody stuck a duct tape up. Hey guys, M80 that firecracker to his forehead and lit it off. That's fine. Chris, throw that straight right, okay? Just expect not to every time you roundhouse, you expect to kind of drop your hands, okay? When you step in big on that on that right hand, he's looking for that lead elbow, okay? Dude, when you hit him, you fucking hurt him, all right? You got to just breathe, buddy. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that thing. Just fucking fight. Oh, there from the series. My word, look at that. Holy, holy, holy. I think it's smiling at his passing. I work him. He's ready to be broken. Yep. Big deep breath. Big deep breath. Establish that front kick, too. Let's go. That's it. Hands up, Kevin. Second round. Deep gash on the forehead of Masseri. Doctor still looking at it here. They weren't even able to pack anything in it. Masseri, beautiful right hand. Fighting out of Southport, now back to orthodoxy. Switch stancing as he said he would. Kevin Ross, look at the speed. Technique of these two is superb. Nice check. Ross cuts the angle, peppers the jab. Outside leg kick from the Soul Assassin. Masseri in front of his own. This is the Kevin Ross I remember. Real good technique out of him. Heavy hands, great technique. Masseri's the kind of fight that he needed to do this also. Masseri dumps Ross. What? And blood absolutely spilling out of the skull here of Masseri. I think I can see grey matter. Step through an E from Kevin Ross. Right hand from Masseri. Outside leg kick from Kevin Ross. Why are you covering yourself with papers, Michael? Because I do not want Masseri's blood on my face, Pat. <laughs> Body shot from Masseri. Look at Ross. Very, very composed against the ropes. That was sweet. Good defense. Masseri's head just painted red with his own blood here. Step through an A from Kevin Ross. Ross is painted with the blood also. Right men trade knees. Uppercut misses from Ross. Masseri winds up a left legged round kick out of South Paul Steins. Body shot from Ross, overhand, body shot, leg kick from Masseri, good combination from him. The experience is showing though, you can tell the vast difference in experience between these two guys. Spinning back there from Masseri. Didn't land, Ross had that right hand up, you can see it coming, nice head movement. Cuts the side kick, Kevin Ross, good evasion and a counter from Ross. Step through knee from Kevin Ross. Ross is lining up the right hand. Nice head movement. On the inside, you can watch those elbows. Break, 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 break. And Dan Burke Leota breaks both men. Vaseline.
Same thing applied to the cut here off Messeri. You know, they need to just glob it up and pack it in there. Ross doing a good job of getting out of the way of kicks and punches from Messeri. Beautiful job of countering. This is the kind of fight, like I was saying, that Ross needed. He needed a fighter to come dance with him to get back to his old self. And this is the perfect guy for it. When he runs in, he can run into that right out. Every body kick is landed, every leg kick is landed. Boxing into the kicks. You know, walk into the elbows, ducking. Let him walk in, don't chase him. Also, knee him in the head. That's the instructions from the corner there of Kevin Ross. They're going to try and lead him into those elbows again, open that cat a little more. And Fitzgibbons, great trainer, telling Ross, use your hands to lead into the kicks. Set your kicks up with your hands. It should be done. Big elbow from Kevin Ross. He is loading up the technique now. The solo assassin crunches the lead fight. Got to hand it to Masseri. Tough guy. And Masseri's cut already just spewing here. Only 22 seconds into the round, and it's gotten a lot worse. This might be over. They did not stem the bleeding at all between rounds. Doctor in there, two doctors on the apron. This one's over. Masseri's protesting. Doctor saying, I'm going to stop it. Masseri begging not to. Dan Miragloda waves off the front. I think that's a good call, Pat. It is, it is. It was a horrible cut. Uh, you know, they're not able to seal it up. You know, there's times like this when you hope you have a really good cut man in your corner. They weren't able to do really a whole lot with it, though. Kevin Ross takes it on a TKO. The series got to give it up to him though. What guts, what intestinal fortitude. Giving up a tremendous amount of experience. And really back after he got gut. Did not want to fight, Pro did not want to give up the fight. Protested with the ringside doctor. But for his own well-being, it's a good call from Dan Miracliotta to wave it off. Have a look here, crashes the elbow into that sweet spot again. Blood just... Well, as I said, just like a tap of running up the cut. Good listen, good view, Pete. Told you, I had to swim. Jake Gutierrez is about to make it all official here. Sorry about all that. Ladies and gentlemen, at the advice of the ringside physician, our referee, Dan Mergliano, stops this contest. At 21 seconds of the third round, the winner by TKO victory, Kevin Soul Assassin Ross. Kevin Ross will be seeing him on July 4th. He'll receive an additional $500 from Harley Davidson, Las Vegas. And uh, Pat now has the Soul Assassin. Kevin Ross, you've been uh, looking to get back to your old self, you said, and, and tonight I think. One, uh, having uh, Masseri as an opponent, very tough guy coming forward. He kind of forced you to be the old Kevin Ross tonight, didn't he? Yeah, and that's what I was hoping for out of Chris. I knew he was going to bring it. I know he's a tough guy. Nothing but respect to him and his team. Uh, I know it's a lot to take that big step up. I mean, I've done that most of my career, so I definitely know what it's like to be in his shoes, and hopefully he just keeps at it. He's only going to get better and uh, do big things. Now, you did a great job. Let's take a look at the big screen here of placing your elbows that ended up causing the end of the fight. Tell us about it. Ooh. Uh, you know, I knew he was going to rush in like that, so I have a hard time sometimes like chasing people down and landing my elbows because I'm always going forward and they're backing up, but I knew with him it was going to be a little bit easier, although I still was kind of lunging in with him, but luckily I was able to land him. Now, everything's healthy on you right now? Yeah. Okay, so we're looking forward to uh, July 9th, tell us, or 4th of July, tell us about that. Uh, July 4th, me and Tom Hawk Thompson are going to put on one of the best fights ever seen uh, at the Palms in Vegas. Really looking forward to it. World title fight, six weeks. You better be there or watch it on Access TV. We're looking forward to it. Kevin Ross, ladies and gentlemen. And indeed, folks, July 4th versus Australia's Michael Tomahawk Thompson. If you've never seen Tomahawk fight before, you are in for something incredible.